Hey guys, Shaper 1000 here. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to read you three true Reddit stories, scary stories, and I'm going to read them to you during a thunderstorm. So it should be pretty cool. But I found these, uh, I found these uh, stories on Reddit, and they're supposed to be true. So you guys be the judge for that. But I did read up on them. And they're pretty interesting, so... Alright guys, hope you enjoy. Number one. Lady by the mailbox. This happened when I was growing up. We lived on a piece of property next to a state park in a house my step-grandfather had built. Prior to that, the land was undeveloped. I used to see things sometimes, but my mother would usually tell me it was my imagination and I just needed to stop being such a wuss. Sometimes I wondered if I really was crazy. It didn't help that the household was dysfunctional and stressful and mom gaslighted me a lot. Mostly to tell me I wasn't actually being abused. Huh. Just trying to give a background info. Anyway. One bright morning, I saw someone poking around in our mailbox. It was an elderly lady in a pink house coat. I couldn't figure out why she was there, so I called out to her. She turned to look at me, glared, and disappeared. By disappeared, I mean she just stopped being there. I was very weirded out, but I knew better than to say anything and after going down and looking at the mailbox, which was no longer open, I decided to try to forget about the whole thing. However, a couple of days later, I saw her again. And the moment I made a noise, she turned, glared, and vanished. She seemed really annoyed at me, but I didn't really feel a sense of menace. She was more like the neighbor a few houses down who disliked me because I was a child and therefore clearly about to break something or be loud or whatever. Unpleasant but not dangerous. It kept happening. Often. Not every day but quite frequently. Through the end of winter, through spring and into early summer. If I didn't make any noise but just watched her she would fade away after a couple of minutes. Not a Hollywood ghost fade. She was never translucent, but she would become less defined, start to look sort of smudgy, like a poorly printed picture, and then just not be there anymore. By late spring, I was feeling certain that she wasn't all in my head. So one day, when I saw her, I slipped back into the house, got my mother, and asked her to come outside and look at the mailbox, but not to make any noise. I think she am, 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 as, assumed I wanted her to see some interesting wildlife or something. I was in luck. The old lady was still there, and my mother looked at the mailbox looked startled and called out, Excuse me! As usual, housecoat lady turned, glared, and disappeared. My mom looked surprised and alarmed, and I said, I told you not to make any noise. She get mad and disappears if you do. Mom looked at me, looked at the mailbox, looked at me again. She looked scared and confused. But you saw her, right? I said. And she was wearing a pink house coat. I don't have time for this. And mom turned around and walked back into the house and ignored me completely when I tried to bring it up later. I didn't want to piss her off. Bad things happened when she got mad. So I dropped the subject. But I was super pleased because if someone else saw it too, then I wasn't hallucinating or tricking myself. The rest of the story is pretty anticlimactic. I kept seeing the old lady on and off. And 
late morning to mid afternoon regardless of weather I saw her a couple times that fall but after that never again my aunt still lives in that house no one who looked like pink house coat lady has ever lived there and nobody had died on the premises my aunt has since taken down the mailbox I think she has a P.O. box now because she travels a lot the only reason I'm sharing now is because two days ago mom called me to tell me her gift had arrived and on a wild impulse I brought it up mom and I well we aren't close but we're on speaking terms and normally I will not discuss anything relating to my childhood with her too much baggage but I said casually hey do you remember that old lady by the mailbox the one in the pink house coat who wasn't actually there and when I showed her to you you wouldn't discuss it mom didn't miss a beat she replied well to be fair the whole thing was pretty disconcerting I was shocked usually mom denies anything that even remotely paints her in a bad light for starters but I was also exhilarated because it was proof at least as much proof as anyone can get under circumstances like these my best theory is some sort of time slip or an alternative dimension and I'm not a hundred percent positive that either of those are real although I try to keep an open mind I do think that whoever whatever she was she thought it was her mailbox Number two, I may be crazy. So, okay, I may be crazy, you may not believe me, and that's okay. But what's bothering me is horrifying. So last week, I was alone, of course, in my room, playing some games on my phone. It was like 1 or 2 a.m., and I was starting to feel sleepy. So I finished the game and went to sleep. When I was in bed, I hear something like sort of knocking under my bed. Yes, knocking. I freaked out and turned on the lights, checked under the bed, and there was nothing. So I thought that maybe I was getting hallucinations from staying up all night. I went to bed, and as I lay down, I, I hear it again figured that maybe it wasn't coming from under my bed but someone downstairs I went downstairs and I see my brother and his friend eating popcorn and watching some Netflix I told him to keep it down because I couldn't sleep and he replied and said that they weren't talking or making any noise of course I thought he was lying so I went back to my room guess what there was knocking again at this point I'm too scared to even stay in my room so I went downstairs told my bro everything and he agreed to let me sleep in his room for the night in the morning I went to my room with my dad and checked if my bed is broken but no my bed was in perfect condition so fast forward four days I forgot about it. My aunt and her friends came over to pick up my mom for some night swim. I was the only one awake in the house and it was 8 o'clock. Nothing wrong can happen, right? I was planning to stay up all night because, you know, I was playing games on, on my phone, on my bed. Then I hear the knocking again, but this time aggressively as if someone was under my bed I didn't sleep that night and my dad and mom were so worried that they called my uncle who was a priest to come and bless my room after that nothing has happened since I never heard the knocking again I may be crazy but you be the judge number three 
something horrifying. My mom has had many, many strange and paranormal encounters in her life, including meeting her own doppelganger as a child. She's had many stories to tell me and I grew up hearing them about the flying cups in her bedroom and the vacuum cleaner running by itself when she was a little girl. However, there's one that still baffles me to this day and I want to know if anyone else has ever seen this creature or knows anything about it. This is my first post here, so please feel free to let me know if there's any sub more appropriate as it's not a human spirit that I know of. Years ago, before I was born, I'm 18 so it's been a good while, my mom had been staying at her best friend's house for a while. Her best friend was married so her husband was also there, but he and my mom barely interacted with each other when she was there. He always kept to himself and still does today. They're still friends. As my mom put it, she was parked in her friend's driveway waiting for her friend to come out to, so they could leave. My mom was alone in the car fiddling around with the buttons and such and she glanced in her rearview mirror. What she saw horrified her. In the rearview mirror she saw a large black dog walking on its hind legs. Now I'm a skeptic of everything so I asked my mom if it was just a random big old dog standing up on its back legs or using the car for support. She insists that no it was walking like a human. It did not touch her car. It walked along the sidewalk like a human would. It did not once get on all fours. It walked on two legs. She swears this and I can see by the genuine terror in her eyes that she's telling the truth. I asked if she saw the legs and she said as soon as she looked behind her it had vanished into thin air. Gone like a ghost. When she looked around there wasn't a single dog or person in sight. That's not the scariest part, for me at least. My mom visited her best friend again, not at the house, she hates that house now. A few years ago and the subject of spirits came up. My mom told her exactly what she told me about the dog or whatever it was walking behind the car in her driveway because she'd never told anyone. Her best friend looked at her pale in the face and said, my husband told me he saw that too. It walked on two legs. Two people saw the exact same creature in the same spot at different times. I've heard legend of legends of dogs and how if you see it so many times it signals a certain fate or fortune. But what was that? Have any of you seen anything like this? I'm terrified because this thing or anything remotely unnatural in my rear view I will have a heart attack. I want more information on this walking dog. Is it some sort of omen or warning? Was it just that house that's haunted? What did my mom and her friend's husband really encounter those days? Nowadays we have backup cameras in our cars. I, I don't ever want to see inhuman legs walking like that in my camera. I already have a bunch of eerie things going on and I'm afraid. The sightings actually happened here in Houston. My mom's best friend left the house where the dog was seen and 
it's not far from where I'm living now, so I'm about 99% sure that it was not a bear or wild animal. As we live in the city and there is no wildlife in this area. No woods near where the house is and my mom swears that it was a dog. Specifically a black dog walking on its back legs. She is 100% certain it was a dog and her friend's husband said it was a dog too. After some consideration, I'm leaning towards a skimwalker. My mom is familiar with them and thinks that that's what it could have been. Regardless, she has never returned to that house after her stay and was happy when her friend moved to the other town. So, this was in Houston, in the city. Not a bear or wild animal. 100% black dog. She had the deer in the headlights look when I asked her about it. It still not left her mind after all these years. Thanks for listening everyone. Hope you enjoyed these stories. Uh, just thought I'd try something different and uh, remember if you liked it please comment, rate, and subscribe and uh, check out my channel. So Thanks again, guys, and have a good day.